Fight Club. It's one of the greatest movies of all time, and it's filled with a ton of very powerful scenes. One of the most incredible scenes is when Tyler and the narrator, on a homework assignment, hold a convenience store owner at gunpoint. Here in the back alley, though, they're not robbing him for cash or store goods. This holdup is a liberation. Now, when you really take a deep dive into this scene, there's so much else going on than first meets the eye. Before we take this deep dive, let's quickly recap the scene. Tyler and the narrator are standing in the back of a convenience store. Tyler has a gun pressed to the back of the head of the convenience store clerk. Tyler tells the terrified clerk that he's going to die. He then demands his wallet, and while going through its contents, identifies the clerk as Raymond K. Hessel. Based on his address, Tyler notices Raymond is living in a crappy basement apartment and finds an expired community college ID. Tyler asks Raymond what he was studying and what he wanted to be. A petrified and stammering Raymond eventually replies, Veneria, Veneria. Tyler asks him why he didn't follow through on this aspiration, suggesting maybe the midterms were too hard. Raymond says, too much school. After toying with him a little bit more, Tyler tells Raymond he's going to follow up with him, and if he's not on his way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, he will be dead. After which, he lets the clerk run off into the night. Tyler then shows the agitated narrator that the gun was never loaded and says that tomorrow's breakfast will be the best breakfast Raymond has ever had. Now, as I mentioned, when we really consider the scene in its entirety, there's so much more going on here that truly makes this scene incredible. Let's analyze and uncover some meaning. Let's start with the setting. In my opinion, it's no accident that they chose a convenience store as the setting for this scene. Why? Well, one of the recurring themes throughout Fight Club is that comfort and convenience is emasculating men. According to Fight Club, the modern man is plagued by convenience and a desire to consume things that give us comfort. Why do guys like you and I know what a buffet is? What they're saying is that comfort zones are the killer of dreams and goals. True success and growth is only the result of self-inflicted adversity or inconveniencing oneself. Maybe the reason this was shot at a convenience store is because convenience is metaphorically and now possibly literally killing Raymond. At one point, he had dreams, but he settled for his crappy and easy job at the convenience store. Too much school would have been tough. For Tyler, this is just an excuse. And the meaning here is that excuses lead to unfulfilled potential. And again, for Tyler, there's no excuse for not becoming our best selves and fulfilling our potential. Refusing to do so is the equivalent of dying. Moving on, let's get into some of the dialogue. At the start of this scene, the narrator says this. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Okay, here, the narrator's casually pointing out an obvious but scary truth, that we are all, at some point, going to die. A truth that Tyler quickly reiterates by saying this. Raymond. You're going to die. Now, maybe Tyler doesn't mean this literally. Remember, the gun is not loaded. Let's consider the verbiage used. Tyler didn't say, Raymond, I'm going to kill you. He simply said, you're going to die. It's plausible that Tyler meant just what the narrator said. That is, at some point, you are going to die. Tyler sees that Raymond was not living up to his full potential. He simply reminds him of his mortality and albeit in a very dramatic and bizarre way, sets him out on what's hopefully a better, more fulfilling path. Those of us who are not old yet, we don't really appreciate the mortality of our beautiful lives, and this can sometimes cause us to become stagnant in life until it's ultimately too late. So the message here is that, at some point, we're all going to die, so you might as well do what you love and become who you want to be. Near the end of the scene, Tyler says an iconic line. He says... Tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond Chaos's life. His breakfast will taste better than any meal you and I have ever tasted. The reason Raymond's breakfast will taste better is because, for the first time in a long time, he's starting his day with meaningful purpose. He's no longer going through the motions of an abysmal life, working the night shift at a convenience store. Tyler scared Raymond into becoming what he always wanted to be. By making him think he wasn't going to see tomorrow, he made his tomorrows mean even more than they ever would have. 
Again, the same meaning here. Life is short. You have to do what you love. Now to close off the scene, the narrator says something very important. He says, No fear, no distractions. The ability to let that which does not matter truly slide. Let me say that again. No fear, no distractions. The ability to let that which does not matter truly slide. Let's break this down. First he says, no fear. Often, it's fear that holds us back from doing what we set out to do. In this case, becoming a veterinarian. For Raymond, it wasn't too much schooling that was the problem. When you really get down to it, it was some manifestation of fear. Fear of the schooling. Fear of failing. Fear of the process. Maybe financial fear. Whatever the reason, if we truly want to achieve our dreams, we must overcome this fear and take risks. Next, the narrator says, no distractions. Now, this is a big one. We live in a world where things are constantly fighting for our attention and distracting us. Whether it's a news headline, billboard, video game, or mindless entertainment on Netflix. Now, there's nothing wrong with this stuff in moderation, but be careful because these things are designed to suck you into a wormhole. They will distract you and rob you of the most precious thing you have in this world, your time. And as Tyler and the narrator have already pointed out, our time is short and precious. And finally, the last part of the quote, the ability to let that which does not matter truly slide. This means we need to stop reacting. Stop reacting to fear. Stop reacting to distractions. We need to stay laser focused on our goals. For this laser focus is what it takes to create something meaningful and achieve our goals. Tune out all distractions, let them slide, and do what you truly want to do, whatever that may be. To summarize, when you consider the scene in its entirety, its true meaning could be that convenience is killing us, life is short. So forget fear, forget the distractions, let those slide, and do what you really want to do. Thanks for watching. For more awesome videos, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.